Uh, hello, everybody. I'm William, CEO of the Medi Consent team. I am the founding member of Chong An Hong Kong, and I have co founded FWD Insurance Digital Arm, which now went the number one in Hong Kong. And I am an AG by education and also a member of the Hong Kong Blockchain Society. Uh, this is Jenny, our CDO. Uh, this is Kelvin, our, our COO. And we are very happy to have Ben as our investor and CMO. And he was the CMO of Chop Life Hong Kong with two, 20 years of experience. Our advisor includes Adrian, who, uh, who is the head of business development of FWD Insurance Hong Kong. He will help us line up insure. And Terry, district counselor, who will help us publicize the app to doctors. I think all of you are quite familiar with this medical card. Let's say I got this medical card from my employer and I want to see doctor. Why I can go to the doctor and not pay them and get the service? And why only a limited number of clinics accept this card? Here is how the medical card system works. There is a middleman uh, medical network that lies between you, insurer, and clinics. The network side of panel doctors and agree a fee. And when you visit the doctor, uh, they claim the insurance for you, so you don't need to pay. Uh, here is the big picture. Each insurer uses different medical networks, and you are only allowed to visit the doctors that are inside the network. However, this system failed because first, only 10% of doctors are included in the network. There is no dentist, no bone setters, due to lack of trust. Uh, the process is long and manual and takes up to one year before the doctors get paid. And it is a command economy with the price dictated by the network. Our insurance test solution destroys the middleman and allows all healthy doctors to participate in the insurance market. Here, our blockchain solution will instill charts so that even the, the smallest phone sector can join the network and our system will be fully automated by smart contract. And we allow free price setting, so every doctor got the right amount of patient at the right price. Uh, we have already started coding the app. Uh, there will be two versions, one for the employee, one for the clinic, and transaction is done by QR code scanning, just like a payment system. The employee can search for the doctors, the clinics can use the app to set the right price and also estimate how many patients they will have. And we will include features like global network, online consultation, consultation record keeping, and online queuing system. The market is huge with one billion Hong Kong dollar revenue for Hong Kong alone. Our other payers charge $60 per case plus a new fee but with full automation, our fee is just $20 charged to insure. We have progressed very rapidly, and we have already sought several uh, district counselors' support to market the app to less privileged doctors, such as the Chinese uh, medical doctor. And also, we have discussed uh, uh, blockchain cooperation with Zheng An, which is a JV of Alibaba, Tencent, and Ping An. And we have started coding the app, published it our company website, created for the video, and also the, the product leaflet. Uh, so we are very confident that we can successfully complete the product and market it with your help. Thank you. And we, we can take our questions. a little bit how the blockchain technology is being applied among the network. Actually, the, the blockchain would be, would be applied using uh, the coin system in between, uh, because it actually is a shared ledger. The ledger is maintained by the medical network, uh, the doctors, and also the, the insurer. Uh, using blockchain, we actually ensure all the party got the same copy of uh, of uh, the ledger, and e effectively, whenever you, you go to visit the doctor, a virtual cost is transferred to the doctor, and the doctors can use the cost to convert to payment. And that's all the things are automatically done by the blockchain. So uh, the payer doesn't need to know how the blockchain works, but it works. 
So you use Ethereum for this? Mm. Your smart contract? Mm. Okay, what if Aviva come into the same market, same way? What are you gonna do? Um, uh, we, we got an expert from the insurance industry. We, we all are very familiar with insurer. And um, actually, they employ medical network because finding doctors and connecting them with them is not their core business. And, um, uh, and they are relatively slow in adapting uh, blockchain technology. And for, for so far as we are aware, we are the first company uh, in, even in the world to, to really consider using blockchain for medical claims service. What if they do? If, if they are creating that, uh, actually, uh, we, we, are, are, we will run faster than them because we already start working on it. And by that time they create a solution, we will have a network that is very huge. So, so what is the time frame you're, you're, you're looking, mm. say, in coming six months, one um, year? For, yeah. Milestones. Yeah, next month we will create the, the first MVP, and then we will start publicizing, uh, getting the feedback from the doctors. Uh, ben know a lot of doctors, uh, and we, we are already talking to a different insurer, and we have a, a discussion with the CEO of an insurance company for two hours, and he's very interested in this idea. And uh, if we got the, the MVP out, we will show it to them, and then we would uh, uh, try to get their feedback and finalize the product. Um, do you see resistance from the existing medical network and the doctors against this? I mean, how are you going to overcome that potential threat and competition? Um, for the competition, uh, actually, we, we identify the biggest competitor is from, say, uh, groups like Quality Health, that they are currently doing uh, the medical network service. But they, are, they, they got hesitation to move into blockchain and also this kind of automated system. The reason why we are still using paper form is because they, uh, uh, they employ a lot of people to do yes, the Thank you, time so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Another concern.